this quick demo will show you how to, I would use it to uh, translate uh, a Chinese book um, text using Google Translate. So first I will open up the PDF with the Ac Acrobat, uh, Adobe Acrobat and I would select the text selection tool and then I can select text like that let me so you can see I can select so I, I use the control my shortcut control C and then I would go to my Google Translate and you can see the translation and later on if I look at some other text I use hold down the shift key click the, the left mouse key you'll see uh, eventually I can select the whole text and control C again this time I'll clear this out Google Translate only does up to 5,000 characters and you can see that it will translate and you can get an idea of what they are trying to talk or what they're trying to communicate in that text stuff like that and you notice that the orientation is corrected here while the original text was from right top down right to left so you'll see the last character is this one and if you come back to Google you'll see that it's down here the first one was this character and you'll see it right there so it automatically does the correct orientation so we link go later on some of the other text in the, the document This is the table of contents, so you can see uh, shift key trying to select all the text. Drill C. And let me flush this out. See if it's basically a table of contents. So the same page one was the flag, and then page two was the founding father, which was Sun Yat Sen, and then eventually Shanghai Shack and stuff I go later on here Control C the translation and you can get an idea of what the translation might be and here they talk about for that they had raised 400,000 know, yuan and so I don't know what the exchange rate was back in the, in the 1940s 
and take so that's basically this document things you'll see and yeah, I try to quickly do a quick translation of some of this stuff it appears to be a list of people's name and companies that and how much money they donated to the cause and stuff like that. Okay, so that's commemorative trans book. And then the other book I had was Chinese in America. Open that document. Okay, so now I have this one. So I select the text selection. Translate again. See, this is basically a table of contents and it tells you what page numbers and stuff like that. So, this, this document I had to break up into two parts, and this one had basically about 800 pages, but I think like a couple of these are blank pages and stuff like that, but I So it kind of describes uh, America and stuff like that, and a little bit of the history and stuff like that. I don't know how accurate they are. They, you know, try to explain, you know, the American Revolution and, and some other history stuff in kind of the, the different states said not everything comes out very cleanly probably not the best place to learn American history but you know it, it was what Many of the immigrants, you know, had to deal with. So, apparently, names of representatives ambassadors or ministers to the United States from, from China. So you figure in 1911 was the revolution so after this point they had a, a different you know government
So, so this kind of tells you some of the trading stuff between the, the different countries. So like cares, U.S. export of kerosene, tobacco, and cotton. This book has, you know, not only the United States and, and the Hawaiian Islands, it also had Mexico and Cuba and Jamaica and Central America and a couple of South American countries where many of the Chinese in in the Americas, you know, and immigrated to but the first four hundred pages are the United States and the Hawaiian Island. things you'll see in this document is there's a lot of advertisement of some of the different businesses and stuff like that. Like this you'll see ads like this for all the different companies and stuff like that. And This place is still around. Okay, that's pretty much all I had on how to do the translations. Since I have no in intent of translating the whole, either of the, the documents. Okay. That's it.